time to get on with the action right here at the Jalan Bissar Stadium where Home United and Young Lions will get into battle. It's the third meeting. That's picked up by Amy. A chance here to knock a goal and that's the first one. Beautifully done there by the Home United striker. Pounce on that as quick as he could. Angles that absolutely well. Can Home United make this count? Well, that's a solid shot and it's straight through. What a strike. A slight deflection, but that's paid off. And Hafiz does get the credit for it. It's 2-0 Home United. Well, a set piece there from the home team. Prakash and if what? Yes, Prakash chasing it down. Looking for Harvey needs a connect and what a finish! That is clinical. Prakash with the assist and a sweet finish from Harmi. It's now 1-0. So Harmi Syahin, the lad who's made the difference here. Still got to pull through another seven and a half minutes. Plus a bit of out of time. Young Lions will be eager to get the better. And that's exactly what they do. It's Heichel who knocks in the second goal. And that's a good assist from Iksan Fundy. So 2-0 Young Lions. Here's Heichel. Sends the ball to Zulkar 9, Zulkar 9 to Ixan, and that's another clinical finish. And the Haugang defense just making it look so easy. So it's now 3 0, and Ixan with his fifth goal for the Young Lions. So this will be the third and final time this season that these two sides will be meeting in the league. Alvarez currently holding the advantage over Tampanese. And to Morinaga, it's a lovely pass played in behind to Adam Swandi. He's looking for Ben in the box. Do we have an early goal here? Yes, we have. Alvarez opening the scoring. And it's the league's top scorer, Shuhei Hoshino, with goal number 16 for the season. Not the start Tampanese would have wanted here, but have a look at Alvarez's build up and movement of the ball. Morinaga. 
dropping into that pocket of space. It's a lovely pass played in behind by Adam Swandi. He's allowed to move all the way across that byline there. Hoshino! Goal number two for Albarax Negata. He's got his brave Shuhei Hoshino. Number 17 for the season. Hanging on at the back post there, it was Kamata who was given the freedom of the penalty area, allowed to drift inside, running across the touchline there, along the touchline. Well, now on the ball once again. Looks to drive forward with it, out into Shah. Lovely ball played back into Jordan Webb. He's gone past Asaoka there. Oh, this is a delightful goal. Can they finish it, Tampanese? They've managed to pull one back here. The linesman's flag has stayed down. What a run by Jordan Webb. Have a look at this right here. Beautiful play by Jordan Webb through central midfield. Just singing his praises a little bit early on. He's been the only one looking to get Tampanis going. He links up well with Shah Shahiran here down his right-hand side. But have a look at this. Takes it past Asaoka, invites a challenge, sends an Elbrex defender sitting on his backside there. Eventually it gets finished by Kairul Amri. Home United and Ballastia have a very healthy rivalry that stretches back over the years. They've met on 50 occasions. Home have won 28 since 2006. Oh, that's a brilliant goal. Absolutely fabulous strike from Ballastia Khalsa. Least expected, and it's Fadley Kamish with the goal. Well, Fadley glancing that through, and if you ask me, Home United totally caught unawares, weren't expecting that to come through. So 1-0, Ballastia Khalsa FC, and that was pretty much, I wouldn't call it clinical. And the referee's pointed to the spot. Oh, that is the last thing you want to do in there. Cheryl stepping up to put Home United ahead. Oh, on level terms. So it's one all, and Home United back in the game here. It took a good bit of time, but it's even Stevens after all this time. Jaylan come into this off the back of a 3-1 win at the Young Lions in the match day before last. But the Warriors coming to this off the back of three straight defeat. So Sharma with the corner. Sharma to the a good one, it's got across the face and gone in! And it's Hey Hey, Jonathan Hey Hey, with his 14th of the season. Shocking defending from the corner kick by Gally International. And the Warriors lead inside 10 minutes.